Our World of Sports was covering a motorcycle race in Gardena, California. They decided to air part of the pre-race entertainment. It was the new solo daredevil, Evil Knievel. We're actually at the offices of Agagenian Enterprises right now, and in fact, this is J.C. Agagenian's desk, my father's desk. J.C. was sitting right at this desk when many things happened, but among them, a story that I want to tell you right now, he got a call from, from a motorcycle jumper. Now, there weren't many motorcycle jumpers at that time. This guy was from Butte, Montana. His name was Evil Knievel, and he knew about J.C. Agagenian, but not too many people outside of Butte knew about Evil Knievel. J.C. got the call from Evil, and I'll tell you later how he got his name. And uh, the call uh, went something like this. Hello, uh, Mr. Agajanian? Yes, my name's Evil Knievel. Yes. I want to jump my motorcycle for you. J.C. said, why? <laughs> he said, because I believe it's going to be a big deal in the future, and I believe that I could bring people into your races, and I think that it would be very valuable for you to bring me out from Butte, Montana to jump at your next national championship. Well, let me pause right there. Evil knew what he was doing. Knievel knew that if he got his motorcycle and this brand new thing of jumping over cars on national television, that he would be well known. It wouldn't just be in Montana any longer, it would be nationwide. So he knew, in his mind, if he did it for free for JC, if he did it for nothing, the fact that he was on national television would be well worth it. So Knievel says, yes, um, I'd like to come out and meet with you. He goes, well, I don't really need any jumpers, JC said. I fill the grandstands every year, or just about. I get good television money from ABC, Wide World of Sports, and frankly, I don't need to add anything to the show. He said, may I just come out and meet with you? JC said, okay. Well, can you give me any money to come out? No, I don't think so. I'll be out there. It doesn't matter. Knievel hitchhiked. Or he didn't hitchhike. He drove out. But I mean, he didn't have much money to speak of. He comes walking right through that door. And he comes in here. And he sits down in front of JC Agajanian. And he says, I want to jump for you. And JC says, I don't need a jumper. but..." And JC, always being interested in promotion, uh, thought, well, maybe this would be something. Something that might draw some people, but even if it didn't, it might be something different. So he says, well, how much will I pay you? Knievel thought for a minute, and he said, well, why don't you pay me a per head? Now, Evil was also a very smart businessman. He said, why don't you pay me a per head amount, and uh, then it'll be a deal. My, my dad said, well, you know, I don't really need to do that, Evil, because I get a real good crowd. He said, how about a per head uh, amount of money, about five bucks, over anything you got last year? So then we'll know that those people that came in were here to see me, because it was more than you drew last year, so anything more than that would be because I'm going to be jumping. JC thought for a minute, and being a good Armenian businessman said, I think that'll work. Okay. The... Day of the event came. It was a beautiful Sunday afternoon. ABC Wide World of Sports was there. Uh, uh, Evil and JC had done a couple practice jumps at Ascot, right where we showed you where the, where the uh, ramps were set up. Uh, he wanted to do two or three more, but my dad <laughs> said, stop. You made a couple successful jumps. They had the LA Times, the Herald Examiner. They had some of the TV stations out there. Before we get back to racing, I'd like to introduce to you a most unusual young man this is Evil Knievel, and uh, his specialty in sports is to take a motorcycle up over a ramp and leap through the air some 90 feet. That's what he's going to try to do today, over 15 automobiles. Now, have you ever done 15 before, Evil? Bill, I never have. I uh, missed a jump up in the northwestern part of the United States over 13, and I was uh, hospitalized and laid up for nearly five months, and I sure hope that doesn't happen today. Wow, how many cars were you attempting at that time? 13. 13, and you missed it? That's right. You're trying 15 today? Well, the parachute's ready, the motorcycle's ready, and I'm ready, and I'm not going to miss today. They got their stuff. They had their pre-race publicity done. He got him off the race track and said, let's wait. The day of the event came, and it was a beautiful day, and it was a packed house. Right now, everyone here in the crowd has their eyes riveted on a young man by the name of Evil Knievel, who is set and ready in his yellow daredevil leathers 
and new racing helmet to attempt the leap over 15 cars. You saw J.C. Agajanian there in the background nervously pacing up and down. An exciting moment here at Gardena, California, even for the young ones. To soar through the air, airborne for about 90 feet on a normal Triumph machine. And he's set to go. The takeoff, of course, very critical. He'll build up speed as quickly as he can, and here he goes. And he makes it. A beautiful... Knievel does his jump. It's spectacular, especially for that time. Um, crowd goes wild, and everybody's happy. My father, from his press box seat, calls down to the box office where my brother Kerry Agajanian uh, was sitting. In fact, my brothers Kerry Agajanian, Chris Agajanian, and myself, after my father passed away in 1984, took over the racetrack. And they used to say, it takes three of you boys to do what your father did by himself. But that's another story. He calls down to the office. Ask my brother, Kerry Agajanian, who was running the box office, how much do we do, Kerry? Kerry gives him the figure. How much do, do we owe Knievel? Because Kerry knew the deal. He said, uh, Dad, we owe him about 4,800 bucks. JC said, put five grand in an envelope and bring it up to the press box. Kerry did as he was told. He put the envelope, my father put the envelope in his pocket and left. Monday, Knievel comes to this office again and sits right where you're watching from, sits right in that seat. JC's on the phone at the time, and he's talking to Indianapolis, and he's discussing an event that's coming up, and Knievel comes in, Mr. Agajanian, Knievel, Knievel's way. Okay, he comes through there, and he comes and sits down here, and, and, and uh, JC pulls out as he's talking to, to the United States Auto Club in Indianapolis, he pulls out the envelope and throws it across the desk to him, and it sits in front of Knievel. Knievel picks up the envelope, leaves through it, counts the money, and throws it back at my father. My father looks at him and says, excuse me, I have to get off the phone now. I have a situation here. We'll discuss the rest of this racing later. He hangs up the phone, just like that, at this desk, and he says, what's the problem, Evil? He says, this is wrong, JC. Now, they didn't know each other. Evil was a good businessman and a, and a very good promoter. JC, one of the best in the country. They didn't know each other, and they didn't know how, how each would react. JC says, well, Evil, you say that I didn't, that this, this isn't right, that, that this is the wrong pay. That's right. And he thought he was being hustled. JC thought he was being hustled by Evil Knievel. Well, Evil, how do you know how many people were in that racetrack? How do you know what I should be paying you? And Knievel said, because I had a guy with a counter at every one of your gates, JC Agajanian, and you've overpaid me. My dad sat back and smiled and said, that's true, I did overpay you. Because when I make money, we all make money. And you did a great job, and I wanted to give you more than what you deserved. More than what our agreement was, because I thought you deserved it. Evil leaned over to JC and said, no promoter in the country that I've ever worked with has ever thought that way or done that. I'm going to only jump for you from now on, J.C. Agajanian. And one other thing, I want to let you know that your word is as good as gold. They were friends and business partners from that day forward. And in fact, later on, and I have this item, I wish I'd have brought it with me, but Evil gave my father a gold chain. It had a nugget at one end and it had a little key fob. On one side of the key fob was the J.C. Agajanian logo, which is the outline of a cowboy hat. On the other side of the um, uh, key fob, it said, J.C. Agajanian, your word is as good as gold. Thank you, Evil Knievel. And that was a Christmas gift to J.C. Agajanian from Evil Knievel. And that's how Evil got started. Well, now let's take a look at it again in slow motion to see the techniques used. Here he comes. This is a parabolic curve so that rear wheel will keep the traction. Now, as you see, he rises in the seat and makes a perfect landing. A wild way to ride a motorcycle. 